right, YouTube. I this is my last my last day at home. Uh, possibly uh, I might be home tomorrow. But uh, this is um, I'm on the last leg of my week off. Um, as some of you know, uh, I went back out on the road um, doing expediting. Um, if you don't know what expediting is, it's similar to trucking, pretty much. Um, it's less than truckload, basically, what it is. You know, you you pick up a load, point A, take it to point B. I have a 2018 Dodge ProMaster 2500, so I can load up to three skids. Uh, the max that I could carry is about 3,000 pounds. So I've had a few instances where I've carried my max weight, um, but never three pallets um you know pretty much you know i have a bed back here so uh i'm not out on the road having to constantly buy hotels or you know whatnot but yeah again i'm on my last my last day or two here um it depends i do sign in tomorrow um at 12 on 1 in the morning so we're gonna see how that goes uh but pretty much my first three weeks were they were rough uh i had one one really good week. I had my first week was really really good. Um, I ended up having five runs that week. It was pretty much a run every day. Um, I ended up. I had orientation that Monday, which was the fourth, I believe, um, in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, that lasted for a day. It was like six hours, and um, I hit that. I did it. Was done by like two thirty, three o'clock, um, and then I ended up getting a load like right away um out of toledo ohio i had to pick up at cleveland uh which it, it worked out because you know my mom you know she stays at cleveland so i ended up going there you know spending a few hours with her she was surprised she was excited because she didn't expect me to come um so i hung out with them for a bit and then i picked up the load took it down to hopkinsville kentucky it was first run off the bat was like 600 miles so um that paid really well um you know i probably put the numbers up you know on the screen or whatnot so so that you know you can see exactly uh you know the kind of numbers that i did for that particular load um like i said that first week ran pretty well um i did really good for the week i, I stayed busy i did about about almost 1500 miles um almost 18 if you include the deadhead but then week two it slowed way down i mean it slowed way down and it was you know really really bad i think i only had like you know maybe five six hundred miles at best um and it really wasn't a good week i was starting to get down i was questioning if this is what i should even be doing um and had a talk with a few people including my fleet owner who was a great great fleet owner um he pretty much kept me motivated kept me in the game gave me a little advice and then the third week kind of started it started off the same you know some of it was my mistakes for sitting too long uh because anybody would tell you that a good driver is not gonna sit longer than 12 hours even if he has to move you know, and perhaps spend some of his own money. Text message. You know, two, three, three, you, you know, he's not gonna sit too long. So that was partly my fault. Um, but then, like the last few days before I came out, you know, before I came out of service, I was getting good runs, like 300 mile run here, 400 mile run here, 500 mile. I mean, I ended up with like almost the same amount of miles that I had in the first week with two less loads so um overall you know i ran good it could be a lot better um but you know i went back home and you know i refreshed regrouped spent some time with the, you know uh, with the wife with the daughter you know me and my wife we went to see movies a couple times um we went out to eat a few times and uh, so i'm just enjoying a little bit of time with them you know not thinking about you know the job or you know the stresses of it you know, and then um, pretty much from there, um, I, I'm i going to come back out on the road and, 
You know, I'm going to hit hard. And, you know, I got a different strategy. So I'm going to see how how that works. Um, when I sign in, I'm going to just stay at home until I get a call. It's probably going to take me back west, which that's okay. But um, expediting, you know, just like trucking, um, it's a career. Um, it's a lifestyle, I should say. It, it's, it's definitely not a job. You know, because, you know, if you treat this like a like a nine to five, you're going to get the results of a nine to five. But if you treat this as a lifestyle, that's the reward you're going to get. Um, you know, it's many ups and downs with this job, many stresses coming from every, everywhere from the shipper to the receiver to the other drivers out on the road to the weather conditions. And I've driven through some horrendous you know, uh, weather conditions. Um, I've driven through blizzards. Uh, I've driven through heavy rain, gusty winds, and the winds, let me tell you, I was, um, there was a windstorm that hit me on my last load when I was, I was leaving from Morganton, uh, North Carolina, and I was heading up to Boston, Massachusetts, well, in the area, and it was fine up until I started getting into northern states and I started hitting a lot of wind. Uh, and then that's when I found out it was a windstorm happening. I Me, mean, it was hurricane type gusts up to 80 miles an hour. And um, that was stressful because my load wasn't very heavy. It was only like maybe 200 pounds. So it was almost like I was empty or it was almost like it's just an extra person sitting in the car. Um, so my van was rocking all over the place. Sometimes I thought it was going to tip. Um, so I had a little stress thing there. Also dispatch could be very stressful because the person that I talked to without telling me, she was trying to get me to still drive anyway. Um, cause she knows she legally can't do that. So at first I didn't think I was going to leave until that morning. And I thought it was going to really be late, but then it started dying down a little bit. And I said, you know what? I'm going to just try it anyway and uh and you know the winds were weren't getting any better and but i made it i made it with like two hours to spare but um you know when you're out here on the road you deal with different stresses you know from all all different avenues again from dispatch down to the shipper down to the receiver you know the weather elements you know the drivers out on the road because you know, they expect you to be able to drive for them in a sense, but you have to, you know, you have to drive for them because if you don't, I guess what I'm saying is you got to be defensive because if you're not defensive, you know, then you're going to get to a lot of accidents and believe it or not, a lot of them can't be prevented. So you have to be constantly having your head on a swivel, make sure nobody hits you, make sure you don't hit nobody. I mean, it stresses all over the place. I think... The thing that is most stressful with doing this job, because it's not the shipper, it's not the receivers, it's not dispatch. I would have to say, I would have to say it's the, the it would be the weather, you know, um, because there's certain types of conditions that I could drive in that I don't mind driving in over others. But when it was definitely something different, I wasn't used to that. Uh, so it was quite scary, especially on my way back from Boston. The winds were getting worse, and I would pull over at some rest stops, um, uh, you know, like along the way, and it would literally feel like the van would just tip over at any moment. Um, there was one time I had to actually get out, you know, because I just felt that the van was going to tip over with me in it, you know, and I didn't want that. So, uh, but needless to say, you know, I made it back, you know, okay. Um, but I needed this week this you know week off um so i'm going to be going back in service technically tonight or well tomorrow morning at 1201 probably get a load maybe monday uh or maybe sunday even i don't know but likely i probably won't be leaving you know until monday so uh definitely gonna be looking forward to that and um pretty much i can't wait you know i can't wait to get back out there you know, I'm going to do another three weeks and then, you know, I'll be back out uh, about March 25th, I believe. 
uh, that's when I'm going back out. Um, I have to come back home. Wife got a few things she has to do. Um, I have a few things I have to do. And it's still kind of slow right now, so I'm not trying to stay out too long. You know, once it starts picking up, you know, things will be different. But um, if you definitely want to get into expediting, you know, I could, you know, you know, let you in on a few tips, a few pointers. Um, again, this ain't for everybody. This isn't for everybody. And I'm, well, I don't want to say recently married, but you know, I've been married for about three years now almost. Um, next week be three years, actually. You know, and I have a uh, five-year-old daughter. So, you know, even for me, it's hard sometimes to be out here, you know, um, for three, four weeks at a time not seeing them. You know, you hear so many things about, you know, how, you know, the family's moving. The family's moving on, and it's without you. It really is. Because they can only let you know so much. You can only see so much, you know, before, you know, I mean, it hits you. Because it hits me all the time. You know, and then when I come back, you know, it's almost like I'm visiting, you know, because in reality, you are visiting. Um, so, again, this this job really it's not for everybody. You know, it takes a really strong person to be able to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to make a living for my family. But I know that the way I'm going on about doing it is going to be difficult because I'm not home all the time. You know, you're only home about 90 days out of the year. You know, you know, you're out nine months, you're home for about three. And not everybody can do that. So, you know, with that being said, uh, there are ways around it. There are, you know, things that you can do to kind of, uh, you know, lessen the blow per se to kind of not make it so hard on you. Because I guarantee you, if it stresses you out, and it will, especially if you're not used to it, it'll stress you out. And then as you know, you're going to want to quit. You're going to want to give up, you know, because you can't handle being in the way. And like I said, this is my second time doing this. And even then, them three weeks is hard. It wasn't as hard as the first time I did it, but it was hard being away from my family for that long. It really was. Um, you know, I was calling my wife every day, talking to her every day. You know, talking to my daughter every day. And then there were some times I was like, damn, I wish I was at home. You know, and unlike the first time where it seemed like I was getting home every weekend, with this job, it wasn't cool. It wasn't like that. So, um, I don't think I even got close, close to my house once I got started. The closest I got was probably Cleveland, you know, and then that was it. And I couldn't go any further than that because my pickup was at Cleveland, so... Uh, haven't gotten closer since so but um yeah i'm gonna put up like i said the uh, i'm gonna put up my numbers on how i did you know for the three weeks they're not great numbers i won't lie to you they could have been better the first week was good the second week it was bad and like i said that was you know partly for my mistake for sitting too long and then the third week started off bad but it was ending really 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 good but then i could have probably continued but i had already made plans to be at home for this week you know i had appointments i needed to take care of things i needed to do to the van but um again i'm going to put the numbers up and if i can i'm going to show you pictures of the van on the outside at least if i can find some um the inside is kind of messy right now so i won't do that but um, my plan is I'm going to do these videos, these recaps, um, every time I come home, um, I might slide one in, you know, you know, while I'm going to pick up a load or what have you. But as of right now, it's going to be every time I come home, which is going to be like every three weeks. Um, as you already see, I do upload videos. Those are pre-recorded. Um, I try to do them every four days. So that, you know, when I come home, you know, I can just start on more videos. And there will always be videos posted to the channel even without me there. Um, so that would do it for this video. Just wanted to give you a recap of, you know, what I'm doing. Um, you know, the reason why you don't see me stream a lot is because I'm not home. You know, I go back out, like I say, either tomorrow or Monday. And I don't come back home until the 25th. So um, leave a comment below. Again, if you want to get into expediting, 
you want to know any tips, suggestions, pointers, um, let me know. Uh, I'm going to make another video, you know, here and there about whatever. Uh, but until next time, folks, take care and thanks for stopping by.